Joseph. Mike 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 Joseth. 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 Over the weekend, they let them get well. So now, they can play the definitely on the track. Are you going to have a walkthrough here on Wednesday before you travel? Yeah. Okay. Yes, we will. Yes. Just like it. Is that going to be at night on those days and nights? No, we did we, it we, uh, Monday night, but uh, it'll be Monday night. Okay. Justin Jackson's back on the injury report with the pack. Did he tweak something in the game? That, like, you know what? He had fatigue on him a little bit, so uh, we want to be careful with him. Uh, you know, he'll be a game time decision as well. How important is he going to be just for the rest of the season with the amount of workload Austin has had? Just getting Justin back and I mean, his, his versatility when he brings to our offense is very important. So I look forward to seeing him back in the field healthy. Coach, knowing how you don't like distractions, have you talked to your team about this latest story about the relocation, the possible relocation? I, I just found out about the story last night. I mean, I don't think there's anything to it. Uh, well, I know there's anything to it. Uh, we're not going to let it be a distraction for us. We got a job to go do there tonight, and that's what we're getting prepared for. With Denzel, with Denzel's knee? Is that related to offseason? You no, know, it was just something he did in the game last week. He got exactly. banged up a little bit, so uh, uh, he'll be a game time decision as well. Here we with Sam Chevy. Sam Chevy, uh, he, did, he will not do any work today, and we'll see where he's at tomorrow. Just with Russell, have you been surprised at how he's been able to come back as quickly and play as much as he has and play at the level he's played at? Just like much time you know? He missed a lot of time, but he came back and, uh, you know, in Chicago, he played 36 snaps last week. He played pretty much the whole game. Uh, and he's, he's played well, so uh, I'm not surprised. I mean, Russell's a pro. He missed a lot of time, but he came back and he was prepared. W wins are all good, but when you come off a win over an elite team like this past Sunday, is there a better or different feeling amongst the, the team now? Well, I mean, it's a different feeling because I feel like we played well in all three phases. And uh, you know, we had a plan, we went out, we executed the plan, and, and that always feels good when you can do that. Do you sometimes say to yourself, why couldn't we have been doing this all along? You know, uh, that, that's you, you would like to play that way all along, no doubt about it. Uh, but I mean, every team has uh, injuries, so we can't make excuses for injuries. But for whatever reason, guys in and out of the lineup, we were never clicking like that. And I think we got just enough core guys back to where you know, we feel pretty confident. Most guys don't like these Thursday turnarounds for obvious reasons, health and all that. Philip kind of jokes after the game that I'm glad we're playing because of the momentum. I think there's something to that. I think so. I think anytime you, uh, I think winning breeds confidence, and so you you, you, want, you want to play as soon as you can. You know, after you get one of those wins, but uh, oh, this Thursday night game, they're tough. I mean, they're, they're tough. It's a quick turnaround, so we really practice uh, recovery and uh, mental preparation this week. What is the greatest challenge on that Thursday turnaround? I think it's recovery, and the guys played hard Sunday, and they turn around and do it again on Thursday night. You know, uh, you like to have more time to recover, but you don't. Do you guys feel like you're really totally healthy going into this? I mean, we were a little different than we were last week. Uh, I like the players that we have. It's going to take the field. And who are we put on the field? We're expecting to play, play well. Can you talk about the work that Sylvester Williams has done? You guys brought him in mid-season. And it seems he's getting some playing time with uh, me, Bain, and uh, Justin Jones. Sylvester got there last week. And I think he's done a heck of a job. You know, with the, with the small amount of reps that we've given him, I think he went in the game and uh, he held his own. Because what, what impact do you think the new coordinator has had? Well, I mean, Shane is, uh, he, he's no stranger to David Warner. I, I think um, you know, he's sharp. Uh, he, he's a good communicator with the players. They understand where he's coming from. Um, you know, he's got a bright future in this league. And that's why we made him the because, right because this is a division rival, does that make the preparation, or how does that make the preparation any easier if it does at all? Uh, the preparation doesn't change. You know, it, doesn't, I don't, it doesn't matter who we're playing. We're going to prepare the same. We're going to win every single game. Raider went in the locker room yesterday. How yeah. close is he to? I'm not gonna put a timetable on DJ. You know, when, when he's ready, he's ready. But uh, uh, hopefully, you know, we can get him back on the field this year. But if not, we'll see him next year. What is, is the team? city a possibility? Like I said, I can't put a timetable on. What is it? Teamers, Josh Jacobs. What's that? Josh Jacobs had a year. Well, he's yeah, he's had a career. He wouldn't mean, surprise me if he was if he wasn't rookie of the year. I mean, this guy can run it, he can catch it, he has a nose for the end zone. He's a dynamic player. Uh, is he, have you seen Adrian doing some uh, conditioning type of stuff? How close is he uh, maybe getting back? Well, he's getting close, but, you know, he still has to cast on his arm. So, you know, once he gets the cast off his arm, 
we'll move on we'll give that pass to what she was at. Is Adrian closer than, than Durham? I can't say that. I mean, players healed at different times, so I don't, I don't know. What's Re Teamer's status for the Teamer's, uh, his status is up in the air as well. You know, if, if he can't go, then uh, Jalen will have to step back in his strong set. Has Jalen won that job maybe based on last week, though? I thought Jalen, uh, he knew what he was doing. I thought he played well, you know, but uh, you know, Teamer was getting better every single week. You know, he's a young player uh, that we like, obviously. He's on a team. But, um, Jalen did a good job. The Raiders yeah. have been kind of tough to figure. They've had some nice wins, and then other weeks they didn't look as good. What, what's your make on, on it's that? It's a good football team. The team's built to run the football. They built stuff. Stuff that run the game. And that, that front seven is really, uh, really big, powerful, and uh, it's, it's, it's going to be tough to establish a run on this group. And vice versa, it's going to be tough to slow them down. I mean, they have one of the biggest offensive lines we've seen all year, and they've got that runner in the back and Jacob. So, uh, uh, quarterback's playing pretty, pretty damn good, too. I mean, he's making, to me, he looks more confident this year, making better decisions, taking care of the football. I think he's second in the National Football League in completion percentage. So uh, they're, they're doing a good job. Williams done anything that. different as a receiver since uh, he's with them now? What's that? Williams doing anything different as a receiver He's now. playing. I mean, he, he's playing like a number one. And uh, he missed a couple games because of a foot injury, but he's playing like a number one. He looks good. We talked a lot about communication and discussing change and, and what he's brought. Is that is that different now than it was maybe in earlier in your coaching career or when you were playing? Just like how important communication is with your uh, I think communication, relationships, it's always been important. I mean, that, that's football. That's, that's just football. Last game in Oakland, uh, what's some of your craziest memories? Good, bad, or indifferent? Batteries. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did get my battery in Oakland, but uh, I think it's a great place to play. I mean, Fans that really get into it, they bring a lot of energy. And uh, even though they're against you, we still have a lot of fun. Is it still old style there, kind of like how Cleveland used to be in some of those older stadiums? It feels like it to me. You know, some of these guys, they probably care less. But uh, you know, I've been playing in Coliseum my whole life, coaching in Coliseum. Uh, I'm going to miss the place. When you, when you coach there, Anthony, or when you play there and it's still in the baseball season, <laughs> you scheme it all around that dirt. <laughs> I wish you could. <laughs> you just you ran a little fast when you was in the dirt because you tried to get the hell out. <laughs> hey, Anthony, whenever you face a rookie quarterback, there's always talk about him, getting him different looks, maybe things he hadn't seen before. Is it the same sort of situation for a rookie running back? Or is it, since it's more physical, maybe position, it's not as much about that? It's, it's not as much about scheming for you know the rookie running back as a rookie quarterback, but you have to slow this young man down. I don't think anybody has stopped it. You have to figure out a way to slow him down. And I had to do that. Well, you got to get has to throw him. You got to strain in that run defense. The front seven's got to be physical. And you got to put him in some situations where sometimes they can't run the ball. So you know, get behind the sticks, that'd be great. After seeing the, after having to go against him and now having him, this three game run that Joey's on, run stop and even sacks, which is what can you say about it? But Joey's playing very unselfish and he's playing at a very high level. Alright, thanks guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.